Guys, this one is very interesting uh, bug vulnerability, in fact, that is discovered in curl. I don't, I don't usually discuss vulnerabilities that are less critical, like this one, but I just found it fascinating because it is really depends on how the backend is configured. You can run into this vulnerability and it makes you just appreciate that writing front-end code is not easy. Uh, despite what people might have think. A lot of people say, hey, front-end code, easy, peasy. No, look at curl. Curl is the ultimate front-end dev, if you think about it. It's it's all a front-end that consumes lots of protocols on the back-end. But it's a badass Swiss Army knife. It's just fascinating. Think about that and just... The, all these use cases that you have to kind of cater with, right? So if you're building something that consumes the backend, the backend changes, uh, or you can put in a configuration that is not supported, things can go really wrong. So let's discuss this. Uh, title of the vulnerability is TLS 1.3 Session Ticket Proxy Host Mixup, right? Uh, we're going to read the blurb and then go. Uh, I had a diagram uh, explained here. To explain what exactly this thing enabled by default libcurl supports the use of tls 1.3 session tickets to resume previous tls sessions to speed up subsequent tls handshakes this is also referred to as a zero rtt and tls 1.3 when using an https proxy and tls 1.3 libcurl can confuse session tickets arriving from the HTTP proxy, but work as if they are arriving from the remote server and then wrongly shortcut the host handshake. The reason for this confusion is the modified sequence from TLS 1.2 when the session IDs were provided only during the TLS handshake, while TLS 1.3, it happens post handshake and the code was not updated to take the change behavior into account. So see what happened when things change, right, on the back end. If you're used to do th one thing and then all of a sudden it changes and there is a completely different code path, things can go really bad. So let's explain what 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 what, what, really, what this really is. So if I go to uh, to this picture, and I'm going to display it in a minute, I'm going to disappear for a second here. You can see that the curl or curl lib here is the client. There is a proxy set up in the same machine or in a different machine and have the proxy IP address set into the machine configuration so that all IP packets goes to the proxy first and layer seven content will be delivered to the actual final destination. I talked about proxy versus reverse proxy, right? But what really happens here, if your proxy is HTTPS, curl or the client will establish a tcp connection between yourself and the proxy that has to happen and then since it's https it will follow it up with a tls handshake between the client also and the proxy so now your communication between yourself and the proxy is encrypted the first request that the client sends because it realizes it's in a proxy configuration, it will send something called the HTTP connect method. And I talked about it right here if you want to learn more about it. That HTTP connect method will be delivered to the proxy. And the HTTP connect method has the actual host that you want to connect to. In this case, this is called host, right? Say google.com. So what will happen here is the proxy will establish a TCP connection between itself and the host on your behalf, right? And then this is will basically be a tunnel from now on. So there will be this TCP connection that you have on the front end alongside with the TLS will be tunneled. Everything that you send after that connect method will be part of the tunnel. That includes the TLS, actual TLS handshake that you have supposed to do right now when you do a tls to the host right you will send that tls request it will in the immediately just forward it all the way to the host and now all of a sudden you have another tls session between yourself end to end 
code and go end to end to the host. So now you have two TLS kind of layered sessions here. And you you tell me if this thing is not complicated <laughs> enough for you, right? So now we have one TLS session between the curl and the proxy, and then another TLS session between curl and the host. Now let's go back to the bug. The bug here is uh, four session resumptions. To, to, to do a session resumption using tickets, right? The server will reply back with a TLS extension says, hey, by the way, Let's not do this expensive TLS handshake. If in the future, if you want to reestablish this for me, we are stateful, right? Let's just give me your ticket. Give me this ticket and encrypt everything you want. And I'll figure out the new key, right? Essentially, the key is encrypted in the ticket somehow, right? And here's the but. There was a confusion on the session to whom this session ticket belongs to. Curl didn't have that context. It was just receiving tick, uh, session tickets, and it thought this session, session ticket belonged to the proxy. So what, what would happen here is, between these two TLS sessions, Curl got confused and started mixing up the session tickets. So if you really think about what really happened here is, Curl lib doesn't understand who this session ticket belongs to. It could belong to the proxy or the host. I think it confuses it as it belongs to their host. Now, the proxy, what can do, a malicious proxy can essentially create its own session ticket, ships it to curl lib as if it's belong to the host. And curl lib, because it has this bug, it will think that it belongs to the host and will reestablish the RT zero RTT as if we were going to the host. And now we just tricked curl the client to connect to the host using our ticket. So we can see everything because we built this. We as the proxy, we are the shady man in the middle of proxy. We built that session ticket. We have that symmetry key inside that ticket. So we know how to decrypt it. All of a sudden, you see the clear text. Otherwise, the whole thing, without this, the whole thing is end-to-end, -end, right? Because this is the, there's this big green TLS session, essentially. So that's, that's what's going on there. So what was the fix? The fix was, if you look at the code, actually, let's zoom in here, is to introduce a new method to know that, hey, am I talking to a proxy? Am I talking to... Uh, backend uh, host, right? And based on that, the parameters, the session parameters will be essentially identified. And as a result, you would not get into a situation where the proxy sees your traffic, essentially. It's just, just one of those things that tells me, man, building protocols, building front-end code that is resilient to these kind of uh, different kind of backends to support backward compatible backends, right? In this case, supporting TLS 1.3 and a proxy alongside with 1.2, right? Can lead to nasty stuff like this one, right? And this is not going to, it's not going to be the end of this. Uh, Carl is having a bug bounty system where you can essentially try to find, try to break Curl lib by any, so let's credit who, who actually did this. Credit where credit is you do, Mon Mingato Yang from Facebook. Discover this. All right, guys, that's it for me today, guys. It's just, uh, it's just these things uh, are fascinating to me, right? This makes you think, like, uh, building software is hard. You have to think about all these situations. Let me know what you think. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.